my name is Ryan Sands. I'm from the Republic of Heart Bay in, in Cape Town and I'm currently on the, the Salomon International team and also the Salomon South African team. You know, one of my major goal races or probably the biggest goal race of the year for me is, is Western States, 100 mile in, in America. It is basically where the 100 mile running started. So yeah, it's always been a, a dream race of mine. So super excited to be heading through there, but also quite, quite nervous in a sense. I'm not, I don't quite know what to expect, but as I said before, training has been going really well this year, so I'm hoping for a really big performance here and yeah, I'm gonna really, well, I've really been focusing on, on that race a lot this year. Yeah, my average training week is anything from 15 to about 22 hours of running, and that's mainly on trails. I get a bit bored on, on the roads, and I think a lot of people ask me, don't you get bored spending that, that much time a weekend on the trails or in, in the mountains? But to me, it's just, um, yeah, it's part of what I do, it's just um, I wake up excited every morning to be able to go out and run in, in, in the mountains and every day is different, you're always running in different trails and it's constantly changing so it's always exciting and always new and, and fresh to me so for me every day is a, is a new adventure and a new challenge which I really love about trail running and then apart from running I also spend quite a bit of time in gym just doing core work and just trying to yeah, you know, keep a strong core and prevent any injuries. I probably do about four to five hours of that. And then also, I go to a liner therapist, uh, Benita DeVitt, also to my physiotherapist, Chris, um, and then also see a chiropractor, Lawrence fin Finlingen. Probably go to them every, every two weeks or so just to keep my wheel alignment in, in place and just make sure that everything's functioning. So, yeah, it is quite a busy week for me. For me. If you add up all, all the hours, it's just about like a, a full-time job at the moment. But Loving every second of it and yeah, really excited for the year ahead. One thing I love going to a new city and instead of catching a bus and, and kind of riding around the city, that's quite an impersonal experience when you actually put on a pair of shoes and you actually run through the city. You get to like see everyone firsthand and get to hear people talking, which is really cool. You actually feel like you're part of the, the city and you're part of the culture, whereas the way that probably I like used to travel is you just get in a big tour bus and go and check out a few spot so yeah I think the new way of actually running around the city or in the local mountains or just being able to experience new areas and, and mountains definitely um, kind of gives you a, a lot more personal feel of, of the countries that I've been lucky enough to travel to. Where do I see myself in, in, in 10 years? Hopefully still on the trails, hopefully I'm, I'm still racing if I'm a bit past the, the sell by date then yeah I'll definitely still still be out there um, being involved. Before I've I even said it um, you can't call yourself a runner if, if you haven't run comrades but I don't agree with that anymore. Trail running and, and road running is two completely different sports um, and I think a lot of people are pretty close-minded when they say when they think they're similar sports. Um, I think go to go to Europe and run a marathon with three and a half thousand meters of climbing in, in, in that um, you, yeah, that's just completely different to any, any road race. If you run a road marathon, you'll be lucky if you get 200 meters of climbing throughout the, the race. So it's completely different. But with that, that all said, I've got huge respect to you guys that have been out and, and run comrades and have actually done it. Like guys like Bruce Fordyce and Nick Nick Bester, they're kind of huge role models for me and I really look up, up to them. So for me, kind of comrades isn't, isn't my thing. I enjoy running on, on, on the trails probably will end up running it at one day but at, at the moment I've got so many opportunities to do stuff on the trails and that's and that's my my thing at the moment so yeah I think I'm a long way from from running comrades but yeah big respect to the guys that go out there and do it.